Welcome back to Sign and Draw. I hope you had a nice break, you rested, you were safe. Um, hopefully you were able to see family if that's something you wanted to do, but um, in a safe way. And hopefully you're back to finish up. We've got a few more things on the list. Um, luckily, good news, there's no big final test, um, but you do have a final product. Um, and so we're going to talk about that, and you'll actually be starting that in this week calendar. This is another one of those like long weeks because it's Monday through Friday plus Monday, Tuesday, because usually I roll them out on Wednesday. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this week and then week 16 out on um, your weekly calendar so that you can just plan for these last two weeks completely and make sure you have everything squared away and ready to go. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what it looks like right now when we're back from break. Um, first off, there are no more weekly discussions. You have a lot on your plate. Um, and so for the last couple weeks, I'm going to stop that and I'm going to make sure that you finish your um, project this week and then are able to focus on your final, which um, you'll be writing some for that final. So I don't want to add anything else. Um, I do have a little note right here. So, and I emailed you the Tuesday before break because I realized that um, I created this color swatches and image um, tracing tutorial that is super helpful because image trace is probably going to be the number one way that you do your pattern design. And then I forgot to include it in the previous week. I don't know what I was thinking. And so, um, I put an update, I sent you an email, but I'm also putting it here just in case you missed that. Um, I reference this in, if I look up here, in the creating your own pattern step two video. Um, I say, I think I even say like, hey, if you don't know how to do this, then you probably missed one of the videos. Well, you did, because I didn't give it to you. So um, here it is, color swatches and image trace. So, and in that video, I show you how to do it again. I just go a little bit quicker. And so it's nice to watch this first. There's no assignment attached to it. I just want you to know how to do image trace because it's crazy helpful when you're creating your design. Okay, so watch that today. Then I'm giving you through Friday to be able to finish your design. So what you have left is, creating it like you learned um, the week before break and doing your image trace, following along with me. Then on Wednesday, I linked um, using the pattern tool, which is actually a really fast tool. And really, really helpful and pretty cool um, that you can do that on Illustrator. And so watch that. And so once you have your design figured out, you're going to create your pattern based on it. And then you're just going to snip that pattern and paste it in your final reflection and submit that as your final product, okay? So make sure you fill out that reflection. I know that this project in particular is out of a lot of people's comfort zone because um, we're using Adobe, we're using graphic design, there's a lot. Um, that's why it's kind of towards the end because you already have all this foundation of how to create all these other kinds of art and color schemes. So now it's like, okay, we're applying it in a new way. So let me know if you need anything and you have through Friday to get that finished and turned in. You can work ahead if you want. I think the pattern tool probably won't take two days or, um, but that's totally up to you as long as it's turned in by Friday. So then on Monday, I have a video and I have instructions for your final portfolio. So for your final portfolio, you are going to be, and I'll go ahead and open the instructions. You are going to create your own website that has images of your artwork on it. And then um, you are going to do a little reflection where you answer some prompts. So 
I need you to read through this closely. Um, I walk you through all of this. So you can also watch this Wix tutorial. In fact, everyone should watch this because it's, it's a long one. It's probably my longest video. I think it's about 30 minutes. So you can play it on two speed if you want. But I walk you through everything that's needed on here. And then I actually make and design a website. And so you can follow along with me completely the whole time and just make your own design choices, but you can see how to do it, okay? And so here's all the instructions, the breakdown of how I'll grade it. And then I even made some other examples so you can just see what this might look like. Um, my graphic design class is doing it as well, and so you can see theirs. You can see how cool these sites are. Here's my reflection. Um, so that's one. And then here's a different example. Here's a design and draw example. Pretty cool. So I, you can either like go through here. And then for this one, I put it on different pages because you can do that. It's totally up to you. As long as you include your artwork and your reflection and you design it. And um, there's tons of templates on here. So I do the entire thing and explain the instructions in that 30 minute video. So you know you can probably do this as well. Um, give yourself more than 30 minutes though, okay? <laughs> um, but, cause you'll wanna take your time and make it look really nice and make sure you have all the photos you need. But this is your final product instead of a final test. Pretty cool. So I roll that out to you on Monday. And then you have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It's due. So you have all of the last week. Um, everything needs to be due. So if you're behind on anything, make sure you finish those things up. Um, a little trick if you're behind on a previous project, I emailed most people who are missing stuff. But I also just created a little project to-do list up here at the very top underneath the weekly schedule. So if you're missing anything, you can also go here and kind of use this as a playlist to be able to complete any projects that you maybe missed. So a little bonus feature to help you guys out. Um, I want to make sure you guys are successful. And then, oops. I lost you for a second. Okay, and then last thing is on Thursday, January 14th, so the second to last day, um, at 9 a.m., I'm going to do a Zoom critique. Um, your portfolio isn't due until the next day. So what I really want from you guys is I want, like, feedback about the class, um, about different projects, about what worked for you, about what didn't work for you. And so I would love to hear those things. Um, it's the first time I have taught this online. I've taught this class a million times, but I have never had to adapt it completely to online. So um, I love feedback. So if you will pop in there from 9 to 9.30, I will give you extra credit for attending. Um, and we'll count that as our last critique because I wanna make sure you guys have all the work time you can to be able to complete your pattern design, anything else you're missing, and your final portfolio, okay? Just a reminder, everything is in Schoology as well. So I always link it in the calendar and I link it in Schoology. So I'm gonna pull down to Schoology. So here's the pattern design. I've added the rest of your instructions. And I've added where you turn in the final pattern design. I also now have available the final portfolio website, which all it has is the instructions and um, the tutorial. You can follow along with me. And then you just turn it in. You just turn in the link here. So you'll end up publishing your website. You can just share it with your family, share it with your friends. Uh, when you're totally done, and then turn in just the link to me. You don't have to fill out like a whole rubric or anything because in that actual portfolio, you will be doing like 
a reflection for those um, art prompts. And I'm gonna count that as the self-reflection part. So all you have to do is give me the link of your final website. Once you've done that, you're done. Whoa, wild. Um, so that's it. And just let me know if you need anything at all. Hopefully I see you guys this week either. Um, email me if you need help with anything or um, hopefully I'll see a bunch of you at the uh, class reflection on January 14th. Have a great day.